Now, maximum shear stress will almost true for all cases, but will not be accurate theory. It is best preferred theory. But if you have a condition that if sigma 1 equals to sigma 2 equals to sigma 3, if sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 equal to sigma 3, then are we able to find out tau max? This tau max will be 0. It means that the factor of safety is infinity. So, in this case only, we cannot apply the maximum shear stress theory. Otherwise, you can very well apply for maximum shear stress. Hydrostatic stress. So, for hydrostatic stress, we cannot apply the MSST. Then you have to use MPST. Maximum principal stress theory. On X phase, we have principal strain sigma 1. On Y phase, we have principal strain sigma 2. And on Z phase, we have principal strain equals to sigma 3. If they are identical value for triaxial stress, then we cannot apply MSST. Maximum principal strain theory. This theory state assume that the failure will occur when the maximum strain in the complex stress system equals maximum. Maximum strain is due to principal stress, not due to sigma x, sigma y and sigma z, but by sigma y, epsilon y, sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3. And that strain must be equals to the equals the end point in the tensile state. The theory is for, good for cast iron. Cast iron is brittle material. Now remember your Hooke's law, we have epsilon x is it equals to sigma x divided by e minus mu times sigma y by e minus mu times sigma z by. So can we find out epsilon 1 using this equation? This time sigma x is sigma 1, sigma y is sigma 2. So we have principal strain epsilon 1. So 1 by is common for all. We have sigma 1 minus mu times sigma 2 minus mu times sigma 3. This is the maximum possible strain. And this maximum possible strain should be less than equals to the strain that corresponds to yield point. So straight at yield point we have SYT divided by E. That is a strain. And since are less than, so I have to divide by FYS. That is the factor of safety. So, according to this theory, the maximum total strain energy per unit volume. Total strain energy is represented by capital U and volume is represented by V. So, we are basically maximum total, total per unit volume is it a strain density. So, you have to equate this quantity that is the total strain per unit volume must equals to or less than equals to the corresponding strain energy stored at L point. So, this one is strain energy divided by volume at L point. So, that will encounter If the strain energy is given by U equals to capital U divided by V is it 1 by 2 stress multiplied by stress is also given by 1 by 2 stress square divided by E. So, this right hand side will replace by this quantity is 1 by 2 SYT square divided by E is the same as strain energy per volume. Is it a strain energy per volume? So, the right hand side will become 1 by 2 SYT square divided by E and this total will come along X direction, along Y direction and along Z direction. So, first of all we will calculate this quantity that is the total strain is the sum of 1 by 2 total strain energy equal to 1 by 2 this equation 1 by 2 sigma epsilon 1 by 2 sigma 1 epsilon 1 plus 1 by 2 sigma 2 epsilon 2 plus 1 by 2 sigma 3 epsilon 3 equals to 1 by 2 is common. Now, I have to replace epsilon 1 using this equation. This is sigma 1 divided by E minus mu multiplied by sigma y by E minus mu sigma z not sigma y and sigma 2. It is a sigma 2. We are taking principal stresses. So, along x is sigma x is sigma 1, sigma y is sigma 2. This is sigma 2 by E minus mu sigma 3 by e this term 1 by 2 sigma 2 replace epsilon 2 in the similar fashion epsilon 2 is on this face so basically we are calculating epsilon y so that will be equals to sigma 2 by e minus mu sigma 1 by e minus mu sigma 3 by e what's the term positive rega jo aap likh rahe ho positive rega bache hue do negative rega poisson ke karan plus 1 by 2 sigma 3. So, which term is positive? Sigma 3 by E is positive minus of mu sigma 1 by E minus of mu sigma 2 by E. This equals to 1 by 2. 
I think E is common for all. And now we will solve this equation. This sigma 1 and this sigma 1, is it sigma 1 square? So first term is over. This sigma 2 and this sigma 2 is sigma 2 square. So I am collecting first term from each bracket. This sigma 3 and this sigma 3 is sigma 3 is square. I will select the combination of sigma 1 and sigma 2. Sigma 1 and sigma 2. Here sigma 1 and sigma 2. This one is sigma 1, sigma 2. Is it minus sigma 1, sigma 2? This one is minus of sigma 1, sigma 2. So I will take out minus 2 mu common. Then I will get sigma 1, sigma 2. Sigma 1, sigma 3. Then this one is sigma 3, sigma 1. This term. Is it plus sigma 1, sigma 3? Next, this is exhausted. All three terms are already written. This one is sigma 2, sigma 3. Minus term. Sigma 3, sigma 2. So this is plus sigma 2, sigma 3. This one is called as total strain energy per unit volume. Cannot be solved further. This total strain energy must be less than the strain energy divided by volume at kill point. So according to maximum total strain energy point volume theorem, the theory assumes that the failure occurs when the total strain energy, that is this total strain energy, is less than equals to the strain energy equals to the yield point. This time I will use this formula. This formula is 1 by 2. At sigma at yield point is SYT divided by FOS because it is a square quantity and divided by 1 by E. 